Oh, Mr. Mime. I see you have a very nice sticker there made in Papa's Woodshop. And those look like four ounce tens, maybe. What are, yeah, oh, they are four ounce tens. Okay, very good. What are we doing today? So we're going to take these wax, okay. Uh, oh, uh huh. One pound, 16 ounces of beeswax. And then what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to use a food grade mineral oil. Uh, and you want us to see that it's food grade, okay? It's a gallon. I don't think you're going to need that much, Mr. Mime. Two? Two of what? One. I don't understand. Two. One. Oh, ratio. Oh, it's a two to one ratio. I got it. And we have a box of tens. Very nice. A whole bunch of them. You've got 36 of them. Four ounces. Okay. Ooh, 144 ounces needed. I don't think we have that much beeswax. 48 ounces. Nope, we do not. So what are you going to do? You're going to look at how much beeswax we have. One pound, 16 ounces. And two to one ratio means yes. That'll work. 16 ounces of beeswax, 32 ounces of mineral oil. What you got there? That's a crock pot, a little bitty one, looks like. And, oh no, oh no, Mr. Mime. What are we looking at? Oh, three ninety nine at the Goodwill, very good. Your wood shop has a very cheap crock pot all of its own. Ooh, that's hot, yeah, be careful with that. Hot pad necessary. What are we gonna do next? Are we going to heat something? Oh, you're going to clean up your mess, very good. Your mama would be proud. And, okay, we're going to measure out the food grade mineral oil first. You told us you needed 32 ounces. And you have a reminder, yes, 32 ounces. And that is an 8 ounce measuring cup. Are you going to drink that? Oh no, you're going to put it in there. Very good. And that was eight. That makes sixteen. Twenty-four. And thirty-two. That's your thirty-two ounces. And then what? Oh, we're going to turn it on high. Okay, we want it to be very hot. Makes sense. We're going to do three of what? And it Oh, 30. 30 minutes to get hot. Okay, that makes sense. And I think we're back. Must have been 30 minutes. How much beeswax are we going to use? That's harder to open than you thought. I think it was 16 ounces. I'm going to measure out by volume rather than weight. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Pour it in there. Will it melt right away? Oh, no, it will not. Maybe it's not hot enough, Mr. Mime. Clean it up really good. And you're going to need another one. Yes, one more cup of that for 16 ounces. Very good. All right. Stir it and see if it melts. Oh, it doesn't melt. What are we going to do now? Five more minutes. Okay, let's see if it gets hot in five more minutes. And while we're waiting... 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, we got 12 cans out. And we have stickers. Okay. Now, you told me earlier that you ordered 9 of these stickers from Sticker Mule as samples. They sent you 11. And so, you're going to use one of those 10s for you at home and have 11. Man, they're hard to get opened. I think you might want to order them on a roll next time.
Oof. This is a little painful to watch. I'm glad that you have persistence. Go, 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 Mr. Mime. Oh, please hurry. Almost done. Down to the last couple. Very nicely done, Mr. Mime. What are we going to do now? And we're going to see if they melted. Mm. They have not. Boo. Oh, but there's a little bit. Okay, five more minutes. We can do that. That'll get us up to 40 minutes. And while we're waiting, yes, while we're waiting, we have work to do. We're going to get everything laid out for pouring. Getting the stickers away from the hot liquid. And now we test it again at 40 minutes. Is it ready yet? Hmm. Nope. Not quite. But is it close? Show me. If it's close. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at it run down the edge. Yes, we are very close. How many more minutes? Five more? Okay. That'll get us up to 45 minutes. All right, we're back. It's 45 minutes. And it's almost all melted. Look at that. Swish, swish, swish. And it's all clear. Wonderful. Are you going to pour with... Oh, okay. Two, three, four? Oh, you don't know how many that will fill. Are you going to try to top them? Nope, you're not. You're just going to get a bunch in there. Okay. Now, very clever, though, that you're letting the drips fall into a container behind so the liquid doesn't get all over the towel and the bottom. And, okay, I see now you're topping it off. Very good. And, okay, the dregs. A little bit left. Oh. Um, done pouring very nice oh no don't make me watch them set up that's like watching paint dry oh thank you there they are all set up nice white clear looks like white shoe polish and it doesn't fall out very good are you going to show us how it works oh you are okay fold it once twice three times that's just a paper towel. And, okay, it's kind of like polishing a shoe. Ooh, look how dark it gets. Rich, warm colors. I see. You're going to rub it on all sides. And I know you told me before that you let it set overnight. And in the morning, you wipe off the excess. And it gets full re-moisturizing done. Very nice. Looks sharp. How does it compare to the other one? Can you show us? Oh, wow. Rich colors. Look at that. doop de doop de doo Very nice. Nicely done. Okay, now we're going to cap them all off. Super cool. I understand you can use these for wooden spoons, wooden bowls, wooden shoes if you've got them. Charcuterie boards, cutting boards, anything that needs moisture put back in the wood. Very nicely done. Oh, you're making it look nice and pretty. Save that one for yourself. Set that up for the picture. And outstanding. Nicely done. Please like. Oh, he says, it's me. And like and subscribe.